Hi guys, how you doing? Tony here, thank you very much for joining me at the channel. I have got something pretty cool to show you today. This is something that you can add in to your solos and to your playing right away. It's super simple, but super effective, and it sounds absolutely amazing, all right? So before we get into it though, please make sure that you hit that like button. It does help the channel so much, so thank you very much for that. And if you take two seconds and Subscribe as well so that you can make sure that you see my videos every single week as well. That would be great. Thanks very much. Anyways, let's get into it. We're going to talk about sixths today and how they can spice up your life. So when we talk about sixths or any number uh, for that matter, we are talking in relation to the major scale. So we're playing in the key of G uh, for, this, for this demonstration and the G major scale. <laughs> Goes like that, right? So when we talk about a sixth, we're talking about the sixth note away from whatever note we're playing, right? So when we play the first note, the G, we get one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the E. Then I'm playing a sixth, right? If we take the sixth note away from the second note in the G major scale, which is an A, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, which is an F sharp. And that's me playing sixths. All right, so pretty simple. Now we're going to be looking at the G string and the high E string, right? Because I think it's pretty melodic. Sounds really nice, and I think it's really nice uh, or really easy to blend in uh, with scales and everything else that you know along the fretboard. So let's uh, just look at the notes first, right? So we've got four on the G and three on the E. All right. And then we've got five and five. Okay, now it's always in the G and E string. So four, three, five, five, seven, seven. All right, then we've got nine, eight, eleven, ten. And then we've got 12, 12. And then 14, 14. And then 16, 15. And if you want to take that any further, because we're right now, uh, we're at the, the next octave up, right? We're right back where we started. We could go 17, 17. And 19, 19. All right. Now, what I like to do is I like to combine this idea with the scales, all right, so that you can create some, some cool melodies and you're not just playing uh, notes from a scale all the time. You've got other techniques in your bag, all right? You've got other things you can bring out. So when we're playing the key of G, we've got the, the open G scale here, right? We've got, it's basically the same as the... The, uh, the open E blues scale. It's the same notes, all right? So we've got uh, that, and we've also got the uh, open, sorry, the uh, shape one pentatonic. Here, and the extension of that. Here, all right? Plenty of lessons in that on my page if you want to look at any more of that. So we can combine that, all right, so. We get here, but in that little extension. All right, we can also go back the way. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure again you give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. And yeah, take it easy guys and I'll see you soon with a new lesson.